filmcourage.com. Film Courage? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tarsem, right? Perfect. Perfect, good. You can um, call me Indian guy. <laughs> How did you get the job to direct Selfless? How did it all happen? Uh, I had uh, told the agents for a while that I'm not going to do another, uh, let's say for lack of a better word, fantastical movie. And I'd said that, and then the next one happened, and the next one, and then suddenly I ended up with four, and that's all I was getting, and I just said, okay, let's break it up. I need to do a thriller, if not just two people talking in a room, dinner with Andre style. So I just said, I need to do that, otherwise, because it's what interests me a lot, and I'm, I'm not seeing it. So this was something that came across my way, and I just said, it's a perfect piece. It answers a lot of questions that I think are coming out soon. And uh, it's, it's, it's basically, you know, in, 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 a, in a Trojan way, put into a thriller, I'll go for it. The first five things you do once you get on set as a director, mm -hmm. first first day of production. Uh, I would say they. I wouldn't even say the things that you remember. Probably just in the morning, get up, take a piss, brush your teeth. It's it's as generic as that. And for me, just remember the first day of shoot is not the first day of the movie like most people perceive it to be. It's usually somebody sitting with a close up, opening a drawer because the actor isn't coming out or the sun is not going down. That thing. So you think you're going to shoot the scene, you end up shooting some close up. So you actually just flow into it. So there isn't a, for me, you know, come to Jesus meeting, there isn't. It just is, let's make this thing, yeah, okay, and everybody just, you come out and you boat. Okay, do you remember the first production where you acted as a director? Uh, yes. In and, school, you mean? Uh, an actual paying job, and you don't have to mention it. Uh -huh. The lesson you learned could be good or bad. Uh, yes, just because I just came out from school, and I just thought, you know what, Everything out here. I had never had a dolly. I never had a crane. I just kept using all of them, and then suddenly, halfway through, I realized what we were shooting was crap. And then I went to the band and I just said, "I think you guys are, are very different than what I've been shooting right now. I can throw it all away and give what you want because I just saw the main lead. He was not feeling well after shooting for almost a full day. It was a two-day shoot. He was dancing. It was Michael's style and uh, losing my religion. I just said, you know what? I can throw everything else I had out." Can we do this? They said, we have no idea what you're doing because you never wrote a treatment. Do what you want. And I just said, great. So just went into it and changed everything. So the lesson was spontaneity? Uh, yes, means like, you know, adapt, think on your feet. Because for me, I think I used to have a, the girlfriend I had in school. She was brilliant in composing shots, making sure everybody's wardrobe was perfect. This was, she was always doing this. And when we separated, I remember I was going on and on and on and on talking about how this girl was everything and then, you know, like had everything down correctly. And then I met Fincher and he told me, you and I both know that, you know, like filmmaking is not about coming up with the perfect shot and blah, blah. And I went like, really? I thought that's what it was. So, but he thought, or he said, no, it's about getting, thinking it takes five shots to shoot a scene. Sun's going down, the actor's not coming out, this thing's not happening, the weather went back, you take three shots to tell the same story. And I just realized there was so much got to do with adaption. And it wasn't my initial stuff. When I did the commercials and all, it was my way or no, I'm leaving. My way, so I was a spoiled kid for about five, six years because I was learning the tools. After that time, when you start working with people who are higher up on the food chain than you, actors, you go up there and then suddenly they change things and you just go, if I don't dance and adapt right now, what I had on the board, not gonna work. 